an industry which benefited with all of us uh, cooped up in our homes last year was the OTT platforms. We witnessed a big shift in the way consumers consume content with theaters being shut and other entertainment platforms being closed as well. One platform that be benefited, and especially due to these viral Indian content such as Mirzapur, Patalok, Panchayat, Breathe, was Amazon Prime. Yes. Yes, all that. Who can forget those dialogues, those popular lines, those uh, screenshots and stories and ever gripping shows that just makes you go on and on and on and on. And there's just about Indian content. There's so much more content from across the world on the same platform. And I'm so happy to welcome right now the director Marketing India, Amazon Prime Video India, the one and only Sushant Sridharam. Hi, Sushant. Good evening. You're here to give us insight in curating culture, entertainment, marketing. Good evening to you. How are you doing this evening, Sridharam? I'm good, Mithin. How are you? Very well. Look at that. What has happened in the lockdown, uh, Sridharam? A lot of uh, I, I, wish I, I, wish, I wish I could say I've, I've traveled the world, but unfortunately, <laughs> that's not been a reality. Uh, for many of us, no, I think it's been a time where, uh, you know, personally for me, it's, it, as, you, as you said, right, spending that amount of time at home is obviously a great opportunity to connect with, uh, you know, everybody at home. And at the same time, uh, find those moments to really, you know, share. Uh, and I think entertainment and what we have been able to uh, sort of do at Amazon Prime Video has been that, you know, opportunity to say, hey, let's do what we can to make the entertainment possible. Uh, in spite of in spite of new realities, so yeah, it's been it's been an exciting, uh, you know, unfortunate uh, but a very busy time. I totally understand. Before I kind of jump into Amazon, I want to quickly talk about the kind of shift that they've had. Xiaomi to Amazon, how has the shift taken? Like, here, tell me about that. Uh, it's obviously uh, starts with uh, starts with you know a very very different category. Uh, you know, exactly. smartphones and technology products. You are talking about drivers of consideration that no, are see. fundamentally different uh, from how you know customers watch entertainment. So, yes, I'm already on the phone. Yeah, sorry. So it's it's actually been you know I think it's the fundamentals of looking backward from the customer remain the same. However, the drivers of what you know excite customers, what they're looking for, are so vastly different. Uh, as, as we say at Amazon, it's always day one. Uh, we're always learning. We're always going back to the customer, uh, trying to do better. And yeah, uh, I'm excited about what lies ahead. Absolutely. And so is the consumers and across the globe as well. People are really excited in terms of what Amazon is giving it to us. But now I leave the platform to you. You go ahead. I'm really here to listen to you. And after which, I'll just have a couple of questions in a very snippet. I'll ask you, but for now, uh, you can have the platform for you. And let's hear awesome. it from you. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see if this works. Uh, just let me know if you're able to see what I'm projecting. Yes, I can. Curating culture as a first slide. All right. Yep. Curating culture. That's what it is, right? Uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, for those of you, you know, for those of you joining in from other time zones, good morning and good evening. Uh, my name is Sushant. I'm part of the Amazon Prime Media team here in India. Uh, first off, thanks to thanks to the organizers for putting together you know such a fantastic event. I got the chance to sort of jump in through the day, uh, and it's clearly been a day of some very interesting sessions. So kudos on that. Uh, you know, a round of applause for everybody who's been involved in pulling this off. Uh, curating culture. Now, at the risk of at the risk of the risk of sounding like a like a chef, um, you know, um, you know, I want to take you you know quickly through how at Amazon Prime Video we see marketing of our amazing shows, movies, and the brand itself as essentially one of, uh, you know, the right ingredients with the right balance, uh, you know, and, and the right, you know, resonance, really. Uh, please bear in mind that, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I have what I want to show you all is but a fraction of the amazing work <laughs> the team's done. So, you know, if you're, if you're curious to learn more uh, or have culture defining, you know, ideas to collaborate around, or you know, are looking to be a part of this amazing team uh, that's helping shape entertainment. Feel free to reach out. Uh, you know, before I you know talk about how you know we we've, we've been thinking about curating culture and what we've been able to accomplish, I just wanted to give a quick look or a sneak peek, really, uh, a quick sampler uh, of of you know what this culture or what the intersection of our content and entertainment and our brand uh, what it has shown up as in pop culture. 
right? Uh, and you do, you truly know you have entered the cultural zeitgeist uh, when the when you know when the guardians of the Mumbai galaxy, uh, uh, you know, start conversing in a language that you have shaped, that you have helped shape. Uh, this is obviously a reference to the Amazon original Patal Lok. Um, and the Mumbai police uh, beseeching everybody to, you know, stay indoors because uh, that's the safest, which is true. Um, you know, this is another example uh, of when, uh, you know, some dishes, and this is absolutely true, by the way, some dishes, you know, especially in the world of Mirzapur are, are best served cold. Uh, this was, you know, this was by uh, another uh, service brand. And, uh, you know, this is, this is, you know, when our shows, you know, cause the nostalgia to kick in right uh and you know friends are you know reminiscing their old friendships or current friendships or potentially future friendships uh all inspired by you know the the women in FOMO shorts please now you know i you know when i was thinking about what curating culture can uh you know what's the best way to summarize it uh in the context of in the context of amazon prime video i realized that it's essentially two things uh one uh, a very compelling slate of of entertainment um that uh you know is blended uniquely with uh the culturally authentic and relevant perspective right on how we present this entertainment uh because for entertainment to operate in a silo or without you know adequate appreciation for what's happening around us i think will uh, will essentially make it fall on deaf ears right so when when the emotions and the meaning of a of a piece of content, right, of a show, of a movie, uh, speak to our values uh, and speak to our social behaviors, uh, that's when we have really tapped into something far deeper. And that's when really, you know, we have been able to uh, be a part of the cultural zeitgeist. I mean, I could I could speak of many examples, uh, but I'm just going to, you know, quickly run through some of them. Uh, you know, it starts with, as I said, uh, it all starts, you know, with the right ingredients, right? In this case, a compelling catalog of entertainment, right? And uh, at Amazon Prime Video, we've been able to build a fantastic slate of local and international original shows uh, that have found an audience, not just, you know, the local shows uh, have found an audience, not just in India, but globally, right? Uh, you know, one in five streamers of most of our local originals um, are actually from outside India, right? So that's, that's, that gives you a sense of, you know, the fact that, you know, stories uh, really can travel anywhere. And you know, as customers, you know, as we spoke to, you know, spoke about earlier, as customers have spent increasing an amount of time at home over the last, you know, 12, 13 months, uh, we, you know, and turned to streaming for entertainment, obviously. Uh, we brought in highly acclaimed and anticipated movies like Pila Vazitabo, uh, Sura Rai Potru, uh, and many more across languages, right? Uh, direct to Amazon Prime Video, right? So what that really, you know, helped us do is be able to go back to our customers, start from what their requirements, what their needs are, and make those changes and make those decisions uh, to be able to serve uh, always the best and the most compelling entertainment. Uh, you know, India is at the cusp of this creative explosion, uh, and, and we want to be at the forefront, right, leading this transformation. Uh, we want to bring to the fore interesting and impactful stories with new voices and unique characters that you can't find anywhere else, right? And we've been successful so far in creating, you know, what I consider to some really, you know, amazing characters uh, in our shows that, you know, supported by how we have weaved them into pop culture, uh, have actually lived beyond the show, right? Uh, you know, and live sports is another area that we are particularly, you know, very excited about. We recently made some announcements in that regard, but we are always looking at what is the raw ingredient, which is a compelling slate of entertainment, right? And then once we have that, uh, we start working into okay, uh, you know, how do we how do we present this, right? What is the cultural relevance? What is the most impactful way that we can, you know, present this to customers and and our fans? And an important element of influencing culture is, you know, first, you know, to build intrigue, right? Because the moment we enter um, somebody's, you know, environment, um, I think obviously that creates a bit of intrigue, and to do it in the most interesting way uh, is is always, you know, so much more fun. Uh, and, you know, this is, again, an example from the Amazon original Pata look, uh, where we, you know, with, before we said anything else, we first wanted to, you know, have our customers, uh, you know, look up and ask us, hey, what's going on? Because uh, that really creates the starting point for a dialogue and a conversation, right? The other element is creating a language, right? Uh, you know, an important element of influencing culture um, is, you know, create that language for the exchange of emotions and ideas and feelings. 
And you know, this is an example from Mirzapur. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing many of you, or almost all of you, uh, have heard the phrase MS2W, uh, which is, you know, as fans of Mirzapur kept asking us for when season two was of, of Mirzapur was releasing, we saw an opportunity to, you know, shape the mnemonics associated with, with Mirzapur, right? Um, and, you know, as we saw fans continue to ask us Mirzapur season two when across, you know, the digital social platforms, uh, we turned that into a catchphrase, right? We turned that into MS2W. And you know, it, what's interesting is today we see this language permeating across uh, shows, right? Uh, we see it for the Family Man, we see it for FOMO Shorts piece, we see it for Patalo. Creating a language is really a great way to uh, help people express, right, and communicate, and really, you know, uh, make that content or that entertainment uh, part of their reality. Tapping into existing behaviors, I mean, goes without saying. Uh, you know, we saw fans beginning to converge in what we call Mitzapur speak, uh, and obviously GIFs and other formats are, 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 are you know, formats of, of choice for, uh, for, for many of our fans. So we said, you know what, let's help them, right? Let's, let's enable that. So we created this entire GIF pack that we released that, you know, and, you know, as you can see, has been used hundreds and millions of times. Uh, this is, again, an example of you know, tapping into an existing behavior um, versus the previous one, which is about creating new languages. Uh, you know, the, the other thing is, you know, inviting action, right? Because uh, that really defines, you know, uh, behaviors, right? Which are, which are an important element of culture. Now, you know, this is an example again uh, from Mirzapur, uh, you know, as, as we realized that we needed to put together a rallying cry, <laughs> not that there wasn't one, there clearly was, uh, for all the fans of the show uh, to really, you know, get targeted on, you know, on a, on a call to action. Right, so we got in the talent of the show as well to jump into it, and that really became this really you know hot boiling topic uh, for everybody across the country, and really permeating um, across you know across the length and breadth of the country. Connecting worlds is another great idea uh, to bring to bring you know uh, culture and and entertainment together, which is you know to to figure out really interesting and exciting ways uh, of being able to meld worlds. Right, so we've been we've been able to do this with many of our shows, in fact, uh, both local and international originals. It always provides for a, a natural uh, sort of uh, entry uh, for one world into another world, right? And you kind of go through this, this multi-world phase, and that really creates for some interesting dialogues and conversations. You know, creating a, creating a tactile environment is always a really good idea uh, and something for people to bite into, uh, you know, because then, you know, what they take away is not just the, the marketing messages, uh, but really their experiences, right, uh, of having engaged in something, right? So this is a big area of focus for us, uh, where we're always looking for ways to create these, these worlds of the show, right? Uh, sometimes physically in the real world, sometimes digitally, uh, and, you know, all, all, all kinds of uh, uh, really interesting ways to do that. In you know, in looking at the in looking at Mirzapur and again or, or any show really uh, through through the lens of cultural influence, uh, we always are looking at you know what are the facets of the show uh, and how do they speak to you know uh, you know cultural nuances or topics, right? Uh, and we started doing that. We, I mean, what you see on the screen is but an example. Um, you know, we, it was Teachers Day in India, and we realized there was really interesting element of of the show Mirzapur, uh, which, you know, which talks about the different types of teachers, or it's a, it's a, let's call it a, let's call it a lesson uh, in the different types of teachers. So we, we kind of, you know, merged the two again. Uh, it was National Tourism Day. Uh, and, you know, we again merged the show with, with what is happening around us. So, you know, we constantly keep weaving in the world and characters of a show uh, into the fabric of everything happening around us. Um, and that really creates for, relevance, right? That really creates for freshness, that really creates for that salience, uh, for customers, you know, to keep, uh, you know, conversing, talking, exchanging, you know, ideas around the show and around the Amazon Prime Video brand. And that really helps us permeate uh, into, into all kinds of subcultures within. Uh, provoking conversation. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a it's a good attention grabber, but it needs needs to obviously be authentic because otherwise it just it's it it feels uh, you know it feels lacking purpose. Um, so you know we we very choiceful and careful about how we provoke conversations. Uh, we ask ourselves really you know key questions on do we have uh, the authenticity uh, to to follow through 
right? Um, and that really is a core component because otherwise, you know, uh, customers will easily be able to see what is uh, what is uh, just a shallow idea, really. Easing discoverability again, uh, you know, it's one thing to build intrigue, create the language, create the you know the subcultures, uh, but we need to give people uh, the ability to act on it, right? Um, and in that, across across our shows and across our movies, we have actually you know come up with some really interesting ideas on how can we make it incredibly easy uh, for customers to be able to tap into and discover and find um, you know the shows and movies that they love and they want to watch right uh, it's really important because you know without that without that fulfillment experience uh, you know on on prime video what we are essentially doing is just creating a very large pool of uh, really engaged audiences uh, that we're not really doing adequate justice to so we spend a lot of our time on how are we curating our, you know, all touch points, right? Whether it is, you know, on the TV app, whether it is uh, on a on a living room device, uh, across touch points, and how best uh, can we optimize this experience? Uh, and really, you know, a large part of our curation efforts actually go into uh, all of these touch points as well. Engaging across, you know, the the Amazon ecosystem is a is a really interesting uh, sort of uh, uh, sort of area that we repeatedly go back to, uh, you know, across across working with teams across, obviously the Amazon uh, retail team to Fire TV, Alexa, you know, um, and other services and you know brands like IMDb. It creates you know a very you know uh, diverse set of touch points uh, for customers to be able to be exposed to different parts of you know the. The narrative right whether it is around a show or around a movie or on around the prime video service itself uh, it helps customers really peel different parts of uh, different parts of the layer instead of you know just one unidirectional message uh, and what that helps with is they start you know constructing uh, the world in their head right uh, you know with all of these you know stimuli and what that helps is customers create the world in their own minds um, and that really helps form a very very strong linkage uh with how strongly they feel about you know the show and you know how you know strongly they want to watch the show tell their friends about it uh you know we we're looking for ways for our fans and customers to be able to you know interpret the shows you know soak them in and then be able to you know uh you know uh, evangelize and and talk about them uh, in in manners that they see fit as I said, uh, you know, inviting engagement. Uh, I don't know if everybody can see, uh, you know, what's what's below that. Uh, even when we do things like, you know, traditional, you know, advertising, uh, we are always looking for ways to actually do them in ways that are uh, meaningful and interesting. Uh, so this was again uh, an, an idea for uh, for an outdoor campaign for Mirzapur, where instead of just a one-way broadcast message, uh, we actually invited people. Uh, to you know, with a simple QR scan, uh, to actually enter the world of Mitzvah. But so it's always looking to not just have a one-to-many conversation uh, of a broadcast, but actually being able to pull them back in uh, and give them you know uh, touch points, right, uh, that they can engage and interact with. And you know, lastly, uh, Easter eggs, uh, always always a core element of you know any any culture defining phenomenon uh, are you know these these little things uh, that customers and you know really passionate fans discover uh, and this was for an example for you know a qr code that we had on you know a whole bunch of you know amazon deliveries that were happening across the country and customers could scan it and you know out pops this you know really in quotes secret message uh, right for those who have who have cracked that easter egg uh, and this becomes a huge talking point right uh, and it creates again it creates those those binds of uh, between people who have actually been able to crack this Easter egg and they start talking about it and they start transmitting it. Yeah, and and you know, just lastly, <laughs> you know, we know we know with we are we're probably you know you know becoming salient and our shows are becoming these really powerful forces, uh, you know, shaping what people uh, are really passionate and excited about. Uh, when you know you see instances like this. Uh, this was from when uh, Jeff Bezos was down in India early last year, and you know he was he was going across the, you know across multiple cities and sharing his experiences of his amazing trip in India with you know all of his social followers, and we had you know Twitter users uh, you know you know responding on his feed uh, you know saying hey this is all great I hope you're really having a fantastic trip uh, but can you please tell us when Mirzapur season two is releasing you know you have entered uh, you know the cultural zeitgeist when you see things like this happen. And yeah, uh, you know that was a quick rundown of how uh, culture 
and you know the influence of content and how we think of marketing uh, our shows and movies in the context of you know the realities of uh, how people operate engage with each other the social behaviors that are inherent within all of us and hopefully uh, when we do that right uh, you know we are able to create these moments of magic uh, and you know that's really what uh, i find incredibly exciting and and passionate about uh, as i wrap this up uh, i want to leave you all with uh, you know uh, ed, you know the 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 core <laughs> set of people who actually make truly all of this happen um, i mean we are mostly reacting to what our customers are telling us right as we think about entertainment marketing and you know we have realized time and time again that going back and you know listening into customers uh, is usually a fantastic starting point uh, and you know when we kicked off uh, the the marketing campaign for mirza for season 2 we realized the the best way to kick that off uh, was actually in you know uh, in acknowledging uh, the love from our fans uh, and we put together this really short one minute video uh, that i'd love to show you all uh, it's a note to our fans it's a note to our customers uh, it's really uh, where our entertainment marketing thinking begins and uh, yeah uh, it's always we're just getting started I'm super excited to have you know shared this i hope you found it uh, useful uh, thank you so much for your time uh, can we play the av please दुनिया में दो तरह के फैन होते हैं एक सिर्फ फैन जो किसी के भी होते हैं और एक जो मिर्जापुर के होते हैं सिर्फ फैन चाहने वालों का इंतजार करते हैं उन्हें देखते ही तालियां पीटते हैं पर मिर्जापुर के फैन सिर्फ तालियां नहीं पीटते ऐसा भोकाल मचाते हैं जिसकी आवाज सिर्फ कानों में नहीं पड़ती रगों में पड़ती मिर्जापुर एक नाम नहीं जुनून है जो आपके दिलो दिमाग में घुसा हुआ है जल्द मिलेंगे बहुत हुआ इंतजार I just love the way you ended this, Ashan. Just love it, and the entire marketing strategy, the differences of being fans and what Mirzapur fans can do. I think that's the thought itself is such big thought that you know can create a story or write a life all, all around it. And I'm a big fan of Mirzapur, so I, I, I'm sure you too are a big fan of Mirzapur. Oh, totally. Both the Indians, but thank you so much for joining us. I have so much more question to ask you, but at this moment, I have time is constrained. I wouldn't be able to ask you much question, but yes, I'll connect with you very soon, and we'll talk more about what's coming up with Amazon Prime. And thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you so much, Mitan. It was a pleasure joining again. Wishing you all the great luck for the 2021. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Take care, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Sir. All right. Bye.